In this short video, we're going to show you how you can easily generate a 3D relief model from a photograph using Vetrix Easy Create AI Relief Generator. So to get started, you need to head over to easycreate.vetrix.com. Here you'll be presented with the home page. You have two options to get you started. The create option will enable you to input a prompt to describe the image of the model that you want to create or you have the option to upload a photograph or an image in order for it to generate a model from that image. The create option we've covered in a separate video, which we'll link to in this video. So we recommend that you take a look at that if you haven't looked at that yet. But for now, we're going to focus on the upload option. So we're going to click upload. Okay, so here we're prompted to upload our image that we want to use. You can simply drag and drop an image within this box here. You can right click to paste an image or you can simply click on here and locate your image like so. So we're going to import that and that's imported that into Easy Create. We can see that verified here and now we can choose whether we want to enhance that or not. Okay, so we do have the option to enhance it. So to help us describe what's going on here, if we chose not to enhance the model, it would look like the original image. If we chose to enhance the model, what it does is it enables you to have a model with sharpened detail, uh, improved clarity and uh, much more definition added in. Okay, so we're going to look at the results of both of those. So to start, we're going to just skip this enhancement so we can take a look at the results that we get. So we're going to use the skip enhancement option. Okay, so here we can see the model or the image of our bulldog here. We've got a few options before we go ahead and generate the model. Firstly, we can look at removing the background. So if you didn't want the background, you could click on this slider here and then that will just take a moment to remove the background. So you can see it's done a pretty good job at doing that. In this case, I don't want to remove the background here. I'd actually like uh, the background in place there. And then we have another option where you may benefit from actually cropping the image. And so if we click on that option here, you'll be presented with a selection box in which case you can use any of these handles to create your selection. Alternatively, you can click off and then you can create your own selections using the left mouse key like so, just to uh, closely curate what that cropping ratio looks like. Perfect, so I'm happy with that. So we'll go ahead and use the tick option here and that will just process that for us. And then if you are happy, you can then go ahead and generate that model, which we'll use for credits. And so we can click on that and then it will take a moment to generate that for us. Okay, so here is our model generated. So that looks pretty good, very much like the photograph that we submitted there. In order for you to twiddle your model around, you can do that in two ways. You can simply use the right mouse button on your keyboard to move that around. So you can take a look at that with various axes. Alternatively, you can make use of the view cube and click on various points of that cube to take a look at that. And of course, you can use the right mouse key just to twiddle that cube. Let's put that back to the top there. Okay, by default, Easy Create will show that in a nice gold color and we can change that if you wanted to. So you could click on here and choose a different color by just choosing an area and placing the dropper on it to change that. Alternatively, we've got three wood materials that you could take a look at. So for example, we've got this one here and this one over here. And finally, we've got uh, what appears to be like a um, a metal material there. So we'll just take it back over here. So over on the left hand side we have various options in order for us to um, make further edits to our model in terms of the height. So first off we've got a scale Z. Okay, So we can do that if we just take a look at this just up this axis here. We can 
scale this up if you wanted to to create a really thick model you could bring that right down to the shallowest version of that model alternatively if you want to bring it back to where it was before by default you can use this refresh option and that will reset the scale there and as it is by default that looks pretty good next up we have the option to alter the detail enhancement so the more we move the slider along the more detail that comes out there the more we move it over to the left the less detail there is again i was pretty happy with what it turned out with so we're just going to reset that detail and then finally we have the option to replace below so here you have the opportunity to just again remove that background if you wanted to so for example if you wanted it something like this we could have it like that if you wanted um, alternatively we could keep going just to see how that looks okay and obviously the more you go the more material is being removed okay so we'll go with something like this so I'm happy with what we've got there we do have additional height settings uh, towards the bottom here and they'll be covered in the next videos that we'll link to in this video so once you are happy with the result of your model you can then simply go ahead and press download you can download the v3m file or the tiff file so the v3m file is native to vetric so you can import multiple v3m files into vcarve or aspire alternatively we have the tiff option okay so this is an image file format that you can import into aspire or other third-party products now at this stage I'm actually not going to go ahead with this one because I want to have a look at the enhance option. So we're just going to go back one. So we're just going to go back over here. Okay, and if I go over to my credits and go to image history, I can see that we've got uh, the image here. So if I click on that there, I'm back to this stage here where I'm able to apply an enhancement. Okay. So we're going to use the enhancement. Now this is going to cost us one credit to apply an enhancement here. We also have another option over here, which is custom enhance, where you can further enhance it with prompts. Now we're actually covering that in a separate video. That again, we'll link to in this video. So for now, we'll go ahead and use the enhance option, which will use one credit there. Okay, so there we have our model. Okay, so you can see it's just added a lot more clarity there. It looks really nice and it looks very close to the original image as well. Again, we have the option to remove the background if we wanted to. So if you, if you didn't want any of the background there, you can just take that out. In this case, I would like that background. And again, if you wanted to go ahead and crop that, you could go and crop that also. So let's just go and do that. So we're just going to use this option here or just click and just drag that out. Okay, so something like that. Press the tick option there. When we're happy, we can now generate this for four credits. So we'll go ahead and click that. And again, just take a few moments to generate that for us. And there we have it. So there's our model. It's looking very nice. Love the uh, detail and clarity that we've got there. Let's just put that back to the top. Okay, so again, at this stage, we can then edit the scale, the detail. We could remove the background again if we wanted to. Uh, and this is totally dependent on your own preferences. So I'm happy pretty much with how this is. So I'm going to go ahead and use the download option. So we're going to use the download v3m file. And I'm going to look at importing that into a session of vcarve where we could cut a nice project using this model of this dog. So we're going to use the download v3m option there. Okay, so now that's downloaded, we can go into vcarve and turn that into a project. Now I already have a template project for this, so I'm going to open my template file. So here we're going to scroll through, you can see I've got a memorial dish plaque, we can go ahead and open that and take a look at what we've got there. So let's just go into the 3D view 
and we'll just OK our job set up here. So here I have a memorial plaque template. I have a nice poem on the right hand side where I can just change out the name uh, according to the subject that we're going to pop into the dish. And then we have a dish here that we can then insert that subject into the dish and then simply recalculate my toolpaths that are associated with this template to create a brand new project. So what we need to do now is just import our 3D model. Okay, so we've got the bulldog. So let's just open that up and that'll bring that in to my template file. Okay, so here I'm just gonna press F9 just to center that into our job. Okay, so F9 there like so. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna shrink that down a bit so slightly. Um, and then we're just going to nudge that up like so. And then we can just take a look at that. Okay, I can see there's areas of the model that's actually sticking out of the dish, uh, highlighted here by this island. So we're just going to shrink that down maybe slightly, like so. And there we have it. So I'm happy with that model in the dish there. You can see we've got lots of nice uh, detail and clarity there. That's really nice, looks really nice in that dish. Um, and so at this point, it's simply a case of now just recalculating my toolpaths. So we switch over to our toolpaths tab and then we're gonna hit that recalculate all toolpaths button and it's just gonna recalculate everything for us. In which case we could go to our preview and then we could preview all toolpaths and see the result of our 3D model as if we were machining that on our CNC. So we've got lots of detail in there. Very pleased with that. Obviously we've got our VCarve text as well. You can see we've created a really nice sign there. So you saw there, Easy Create makes it super easy for you to create 3D relief models based on the photos that you upload. Now we do have another video available that walks through the custom enhance option that allows you to add prompts in addition to your photo uploads, which I recommend that you take a look at and we'll link that in the video description. So that brings this video to a close. To learn more about Easy Create and give it a go for yourself, head over to easycreate.vetric.com. Thank you for watching.